Hello ladies and gentlemen, welcome to another vlog. No idea what I'm talking about this time, I actually don't have a lot going on today for once. I actually uh, just finished breakfast, had a pretty big breakfast, so I'm wondering whether or not that's going to affect my workout. And uh, I'm going to go do a quick upper body workout. And the good thing is that it's in my garage, so I can just go and do it whenever I want. And I don't have to get ready for it, so whatever. A couple things to, to talk about <clears throat> very, very, very quickly. Weight wise, I'm, I'm sitting at about 178 now-ish. And um, that kind of goes up and down depending on whether or not I can get water out of my system. Usually when I have days off from work, it, I, I come in and, and conditioning is a lot better. Um, days that I work and then I sleep less and I'm doing a whole bunch of other shit. My weight kind of, uh, conditioning doesn't look as good. Weight is pretty comparable. Uh, that's kind of where I'm sitting right now. So uh, I'm finding it very difficult to keep a lean bulk going as, as I would want it to go only because I don't have the time to dedicate as much time to cardio as I'd like to. In fact, towards the end of my cut, I was kind of starting to enjoy cardio, which if you knew me before, I hated cardio. So um, I'm kind of starting to enjoy it a little bit. I just don't have the time for it with, with work and, and all the other things I've got going on, like editing videos and, and doing shit like that. I just, I don't have time to do as much cardio, which sucks. So we'll see what I do in the future about that. So I'm gonna go get ready for a workout. Oh yeah, so some of you guys haven't seen the room update from one of the other project videos. If you haven't seen those, look on the vlog playlist, there's a, f a bunch of them. But kind of the way the room's standing now, I'm liking the way, very simple, modern, uh, basic I guess, I don't know. Except for my, my toys that are located here. I'm a child. But I want to show you guys these. In fact, I was going to post these on Instagram. Um, some of the artwork I've put up. Huge and a huge fan and very, very into uh, Feudal Japan. Uh, the whole Bushido, Bushido code, hopefully I pronounced that correctly. And a Japanese style, not philosophy, but art and all of that. So very cool that I picked up these pieces. I thought they were just very simplistic, very basic, but just very cool. And the art style, it's almost like a traditional samurai watercolor. These are prints of the originals. I'll show you some more of the artwork that's up here later. Lot of supersets in my workouts and actually quite a bit of volume. Uh, the volume is a little higher because it's a full upper body workout <clears throat> 
And uh, supersets are just to help save with time. It's just too much going on. I do a lot of volume. I like slightly higher volume some days. And uh, because of that, I do a lot of supersets to help speed that up. Shower, food, and then maybe actually my worst enemy, dishes, shower, then food. All right, so I got done with the shower, uh, ate, but check this out. I came across this website where you can actually answer like 60 something questions and there it gives you like your your personality type I guess. So how badass is that background? Points to anybody who guesses what this is. But anyways, so basically I'll link it down below but it's pretty neat. So, so it's basically a young typography test and so what it does is it as you answer all of these questions and it gives you your personality type. It's really funny because I guess it classified me as INTJ, introverted, intuitive thinking, judging. Um, I might do this once or twice more just to see the, the, if I get the same type, but I thought like this is somewhat accurate to be honest with you, but I wonder if it's kind of like horoscopes where you're just looking for the things that fit. I found, an, I found a website that actually tells you how it correlates to like comic book characters, like what type all these comic book characters are, and it kind of gives you the idea. And apparently, according to INTJ, I'm much like Professor Xavier and Mr. Manhattan. Random fun little thing you could do if you're looking to just, you have a couple minutes on you. I thought it was interesting. I'm gonna read a little bit more about the NTJ profile, but so far it seems somewhat accurate. All right, ladies and gents, I got Ruben with me. You probably know him from the other vlogs. If you don't know him, then how fucking dare you not watch my videos? I'm gonna link those below. You should at least watch the California ones if you watch yeah. anything else. How dare you? Shut up. We're gonna go run some errands. Um, I just gotta go shopping for some stuff. Uh, I might get some food along the way, who knows, I'm still hungry. I'm gonna get juiced out Spider-Man. Show kids what's up. Two finger control. Okay. <laughs> <laughs> I'll pay you. Oh, hey, look at that woman's toy. All right, we're still running around stores. In fact, we're still waiting for somebody to kind of get done doing some work. I thought I'd show you guys this. It's pretty cool. Like, I will say this. I've been to a couple places before where people are like, we have the best sunsets in the world, and I go and see them, and they're dog shit. Check this out. And the crazy part is the camera's like not even picking it up that well. Like, it can't pick up the reds that well. Yeah. 